Oh, this is a dark looking lab. Saw me. Diary, January 16th, 1985, 2 a.m. The Mewtwo project is bound to fail, but my colleagues refused to see it. Missing no was just a canary in the coal mine. A Pokemon clone of Mew, however sophisticated, can never be controlled. The others of all refused to back down, so I had first started a scientific project of my own. If it cannot, if it cannot save Kanto, nothing can. Did I transform into sing no? Oh gosh. What have we unleashed on the world here? Super glitch. It probably has the same catch rate as missing no. So we probably made it so we can't really catch it. It's not worth too many ultra balls. The great have a ditto in the box, but a little 50 is cool. Okay, so there's random wild Pokemon that will come out from the sky and fight us. February 14th, 1985. There's a fatal flaw in the logic of un underlying the Michi project. Yes, there's immense potential in genetic engineering, no doubt, and we've correctly isolated the genes responsible for aggression and socio sociopathy. But what good are they in the body of a Pokemon that cannot be reasoned with? The wartime chaos makes people focus on raw muscle power to the exclusion of everything else. They forget that we are not savages. Ooh, evolving? That's busted. Oh my guys are evolved, huh? I'm gonna give it to Missing No for fun. I think it'll work. February 29th, 1985. Why have Pokemon grown to be such a dominating force in society? Not by their individual power alone, left to their own devices, Pokemon are passive, simple minded creatures. Above all, the thing that determines the strength of a pack of Pokemon is the intelligence, the discipline, and the leadership of the humans that control them. The Pokemon is only instruments its master. Oh gosh, what is he doing? Round one. Ditto. Nice. <laughs> okay. Here, turn into Farfetch, please. <laughs> You're right. Yes, sir. Ooh, watch. I was going to catch that one. Release? I mean, that's actually good. Farfetch isn't too bad in this game, huh? This lab is way too big. It's like the entirety of Pallet Town. Intruder <laughs> alert. Intruder alert. I'm 
Okay, the other ones didn't intrude earlier. <laughs> okay, it's a trade arrow. So weird. Bitch. Did more damage than I expected. So much. Nothing. Interesting. The Grammy's cl crashed! I'm lucky, dude. I wonder if the uh, super glitch legitimately has a chance of crashing the game. <laughs> Good thing we saved frequently. Um, it's not Butterfree fight stuff. Quiver dance. I should have done that. It's for stuff. Shut up for those. Okay. So now we're at plus two special attack, plus two speed. We should just one shot everything. Go first one shot. But we are vulnerable. Oh, that stupid soundproof. Every single guy. Jeez. Butterfree, I didn't know you were so bad. Everybody has some. 350 bucks. It's still Pokemon from this robot. Diary. March 11th, 1985. Let's do away with all prior assumptions. What if those genes were synthesized? What if those genes we synthesized were instead manifested? In a genetic clone of a human boy. Oh gosh. You mean red? Look at this unique kind of quivering qualities raised for Pokemon battle. He would not be subject to the same limitations as a normal human trainer. Oh gosh, red's a genetic. No! Coldly and objectively, he would devise battle strategies, push his Pokemon to their limits, like a dispassionate puppet master, directly controlled. Directly controlling the actions of his Pokemon from afar, as if by the click of a button. Calling us a sociopath. Uji and Shigeki have told me all I need. I will create a superhuman trainer. My own. Nobody is signal. Poor Red. It's tragic. There's gonna be a ditto over here. Oh, hey. Too bad I don't have any electric moves. Did I was here? Bright power. Bright power is actually OP. Let's get rid of this shell bell. What we put it on? Hand coin's fine. Ball light's garbage. Kim rock's good. Uh, we give you. So I don't want the shell bell. The bright powder and butterfly. Butterfree. This butterfree needs the best item, and it's kind of thematic to have butterfree. Uh, life orb is good, but I just don't care. Okay. Giving me a thunderbolt. Okay, another ditto fight. June 3rd, 1985. Initial tests appear promising, but I cannot recreate the body of a full-grown living boy. For the clone to resemble a human well enough to fool the world, I would create my master trainer as an embryo. Let the nature take its course. Oh my gosh, he's the reason. Wait, that's his mom! A sterile local widow blindly devoted me since our youth will happily agree to adopt him as his mother. Oh my gosh. Of course, you can need a little nurturing. This is genetic code. The purpose of his childhood will be to imprint only a single vessel. That I am the father figure and he can trust. That's my word for his own good as law. Oh no, an oak talks to you when you try to use items in the original games. Oh gosh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 
oh, this... This feels wrong. Unauthorized entry. I'll let my defenses get too lower, but I guess another group advance would have been good. These are high level Pokemon. Let's use two more group advances. Make sure we can one shot everything. Let's sleep. There, now we should be able to one shot it. This one's out. Wow, we even did. He's got a high special defense. And we still got him. Happy 54. Loading defeat message. <laughs> you are a big loser. Still that wheezing. We can switch Butterfree with Doggo here. August 15th. The Pokemon League Challenge is a ray of hope for many naive young trainers, even if only one in a million ever stand a chance to reach it. Fortunately, it can be readily exploited. As soon as he's given his Pokemon license, my Chrome will rise up the ranks in unprecedented speed. Gym leaders, criminal organizations, legendary Pokemon, there'll be no match for him. They'll never see a child like this coming. They won't leave their eyes. This is why red is so different. So much stronger. Interesting. Oh, there's a ladder. September 2nd. Need to escape the Pokemon Mansion and put an end to that project. Kanto's military resources are running out. Can't afford this war any longer. Lance will not give in until he has my head on a pike and all of Kanto are kneeling before him. It won't do. I will surrender my position as champion. Lance will gleefully take my place and the public will shame me as a coward and a traitor, but they will let me live. And in ten years' time... Yeah, it is a long clock. I guess that kind of does justify it. I will wipe the grin off your conceited face, Lance. My boy has crushed you in a fair official book of the hell you'll find. His policies as champion less than friendly towards the likes of you. As a minor, the boy will gladly concede his political decisions to me. And, being the only male guardian, the people have no choice but to comply. Kanto Johto against the world. We will yield unprecedented power. What human trainer could possibly stand in our way? And I mean, he would be using all of Kanto's resources to continue fighting the battle. Whereas if he forfeits, then they get to, like, not deplete themselves for the future. So I think it does kind of work as long as he's really confident in, in like, you know, the tenure plan work. Ah, a decade of public humiliation is a small price to pay because of the times, right? I will return with a vengeance. Wait, there's a ladder. I want to know what's up there. Rocket Pager's beeping. Better port to right in, Jim. Uh, instead of going up that ladder? I think not. I need to know what's there. Oh. That's weird. Okay, so we explored the whole place. Let's heal up. I think I'm just gonna like bring these two along and let them get under leveled. And then these three I still just keep as the main squad. Kinda liking we have been using the game I think is coming to a close but we should see 
might be quite a bit left, who knows. Oh no. Oh no. It's the monster. Let him go. Let him go. He's a monster. Oh, made him in a lab. That's so freaky. Now, Giovanni, please. You won't allow this. There's nothing you can say, darling. Leave me be. Giovanni? Yes, Cap. You're here at last. I'm ashamed. You should have to see me like this. I've been defeated in battle for the very last time. I cannot face my followers any longer. I've betrayed your trust. The last scrape of honor I have left. It's time for me to move on. I've worn out our welcome in Kanto. I think it's best if we... This were the end of Team Rocket. But I don't expect all of my admins and executives to agree. So, Nezcap, you're free to keep wreaking havoc on Kanto if you prefer, but whatever becomes of Team Rocket here on out will be without me at the helm. No! Boss! I I won't have this insanity all over Giovanni, everything we stood for over some child. Tell Giovanni what the child is. Yes, a child, or a child will soon rule the region. But the slightest bloodshed to his name, and what have we achieved? We've roused the anger and supported those who long back to the golden years of Kanto and become the masters of its, of its criminal underground. But we're no closer to our ultimate goal than we were ten years ago. I truly thought we had the cleanest path to power laid out for us. I was lying to myself the whole time. That kid from the first I ever heard of him, he made me so angry. All my violent frustration and bitterness. I didn't understand why he brought it all out of me. I didn't understand that he was what he was making me see. The blind, stubborn weakling I had become. I do now, and it's time for me to go. Nescap, I apologize for everything. Team Rocket will not roll Kanto. But perhaps... No, I won't say any more for now. Take this as a final token of my appreciation, Nescap. I had such high hopes for you. It makes me proud how far you've come since I first called you to my office all that time ago. Make the best of the power and responsibility I've given you so long. No, come back. Don't you dare. Don't you dare run away. I hate you. You said for everything that's bad. Ah, teenage kids. Be strong. That's what we have wanted. How am I supposed to fight him for a gym badge? Miss Cap opened the briefcase. Inside was a sack of money. Yeah! Ten thousand dollars! Yeah! Letters attached. Dear Nescap, I am not fit to lead Team Rocket. My criminal dignity will not allow it. I failed you. But you've grown stronger than any of us. As Pokemon trainer, there's not a rocket in Kanto who measures up, and your honor is still intact. So with my blessing, do the things I should have done long ago. Go westward to Indigo Plateau and take on the Elite Four. Deliver our revenge on Red, Lance, and Oak. Leave Team Rocket as a lasting legacy in Kanto. Let them remember us. Use our infamy to the fullest, then disband the organization for good. Contents of the breach caves are yours to keep. I'm giving you all the power and prestige the criminal underworld has to offer. The power to steal from gym leaders, the Elite Four, and the Pokemon Champion. This is to be your final promotion. Regards, Giovanni. Dun 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 <laughs> Oh no, not the slick back hair. Nescap was promoted to Rocket Boss. This has to be the final promotion. We can steal from any trainer. So now is when we should go beat, like, Brock, Misty, and all that that we did earlier. Which is a shame. Because we could have stole all their cool Pokemon, but... I don't really make use of that feature in this game. I just got, like, a few guys early and then never used anybody else. So, that's unfortunate, but I have enjoyed the story. Let's go take down, take down Blaine. So, we're really ahead in this mission, because we would go start... We would go to Koga now and do the mission and get the trainer card and do all the gyms and stuff. But instead of that, we're just jumping right to Blaine. I think Mallow can just one-shot everything. Nescap, what are you doing here? They'll kick you out any minute. I'm sure they will. Huh? 
Jim Chouch? Well, if you really want to fight again, I'll oblige. I've been training, and you know how it goes. Better have a burn heal. <laughs> oh, Lane. You don't stand a chance. You're just going to use five surfs, and you're out. What Pokemon do we want to steal? Nine tails. They're like decently high leveled. Flareon, ooh. So we could have gotten a Vaporeon from Misty and a Flareon from Blaine. Wow, he did damage to me. Well played, sir. I burned out nothing, not even ashes remaining. Steal Pokemon? Oh yeah, come here, Flareon. Rob done for Team Rocket, you gonna rob my Pokemon? Girl, I guess if, I guess I'm just gonna sit still and take it like everything else you guys do, huh? Better take this TM as well. Scorched, I'll get you one day. Fireball, that's sick. 85 X, that's crazy. I want to look at that Flareon. There's a move tutor. I'm going to go see. I don't think I'm going to add Flareon to the team, but it's tempting. It's supposed to be in Fuchsia. No, we already have Arcanine. Can't add Flareon to the team, but I'm curious what moves he learns in this game. Dude. Spend some of that 10k. <laughs> Big hand, Ember. Firefang. Okay, so Firefang would be his main move. Oh, Firefang's stronger than uh, Flame Wheel. But less actually doesn't appear from any move I can teach that Pokemon. Yikes. Because Flareon's a physical fire, but in this game, fire can be physical. Which fire? Lava Plume? That's like a, a budget flamethrower, but you're a physical attacker, not a special attacker. So you we would have to teach you Fire Fang, and then that would be your main move, which, like, Compare that to Vaporeon having Surf and not having to spend any money, and then if we want to spend money, we could have Ice Beam. Like Jolteon, we would have had to spend money to get Thunderbolt. Flareon, we could have gotten Flamethrower, which wouldn't have been good. So Flareon seems like the worst EV evolution, and Vaporeon seems like the best one. I don't know how to evolve it to Espeon and Umbreon in this game. So you could evolve it to Espeon and get the Psychic team from Mr. Psychic pretty early. I guess that wouldn't be too bad. That would be fine. So Espeon might be good, and then Umbreon's probably pretty bad for this game because it's like a tank and stuff, and and it's hard to evolve. Okay. Um, do we heal? I think I want to beat this with Vaporeon as well. It's the ground gym leader. Although well, we don't get to actually fight Giovanni, which is kind of disappointing. I'm not going to start taking orders from a punk like you. Give us back Giovanni. Hey, boss. Hey, now. Trust you, Mr. Pink Guy. Oh, I should go to Saladon Game Corner. If I were you, but I'd make the most of my bounty now while I can. Oh, who knows if we'll get any rewards for being good or bad if you have a new champion. Okay. So if I... Don't trade in all my Pokemon now, I won't get those teams and stuff.
He told you to follow right up to the big four and challenge him. That'd be quite challenging for you. If that's what he wanted. Okay, then they tell you about Koga. You're not even going to give me stuff for free? I'm your boss. A hundred bucks for lifeguard. Oh, gosh. If anybody ever did that, that would feel real bad. Life orbs insane. So we're supposed to go collect all the bounties. What a joke. I won't be caught dead calling you boss. Can I see take on the A4? Go ahead. Got other plans. What's so special about you? Isn't there one more? But there was one more um admin. So you've taken them all out, the other gym leaders. Well then, Mr. Smith, let's see what you've got. It's new to my place, but Giovanni decided I had to keep my Pokemon in peak condition. I'll show no mercy to anyone. You're no exception. Dun, dun. So they actually make Daily for or like the uh, gym leaders part of the game. Which is kind of cool. Let's get the rain dance out of the way now. Ooh, we got badly poisoned. Oops. Oh no. <laughs> he spam clicked. Ooh, we got badly poisoned again. How many times can we get badly poisoned? Do the rain dance. Hydration combo is so cool. Uh, biofin. Let's just try to plow through that. We should have ice beam for situations like this. Oh no, he's unsported me, whatever. Oh, rain stopped. Got cocky. Okay. We get another rain dance going. Why he's spamming aromatherapy? You'd have to crit to kill me. Cool, Sunspur doesn't hit me. Potion, that's fine. Just gotta kill him before the rain ends. That was tougher than expected. Wow. Looks like we need a Mystic Water. To do enough damage. I don't know if that would be quite enough to one shot with these. Not quite enough offensive power. No, if the rain stops. Yep, so the rain could stop. Hey, you should probably keep track of it, because the rain could stop while I'm sleeping from rest. And that could be an issue. I could definitely see myself messing up on that. Just follow through. Okay, so we poor in took out the whole gym leader. $188? I'm rich! Oh yeah. Uh, I haven't seen a Mercury yet, I don't think. I feel like I haven't seen Gen 2 Pokemon. Just gonna be mad. I should have seen that coming. We've truly descended into anarchy, haven't we? <laughs> Stealing from one another? Well, if I needed a sign to tell me that it was time to move on, you give it to me, Mouse Cap. I must go. I'll follow Giovanni's example. Finish the work you started to the ends and beyond. Maybe I'm not supposed to stick here. So we could go return all the Pokemon and get, like, all the cool stuff from all those policemen, but I think we just go to Victory Road and beyond. I don't have a strength Pokemon on my party, do I? It'd be nice to have someone who could learn strength and fly. It's nice they only have a few TMs that are HMGs. So I'd have to teach it to Doggo. It's 
instead of extreme speed. Which is probably fine. I think Arcanine's going to be faster than pretty much anything anyway. And then I don't have to mess with my party. Arrival fight. 